Hey guys, um, I know I haven't been on in a while, but I haven't been having the best senior year of high school, and, but I'm not here to talk about that. What I'm here to talk about is something that inspired me and completely made my senior year from crap to something really, really amazing. Just a few weeks ago, we had a presentation on bullying, and it was about how a father had lost his son because of bullying. He committed suicide by hanging himself. His name was Ryan Halligan. Now this guy, the dad, makes presentations to different states all around the world and everything, and if you had him, leave a comment below because this might mean a lot to you too. And if you haven't, I have the link down the bar so you can read Ryan's story because it's so inspiring and so heartbreaking. And basically what happened was, I'm a shy person. I don't talk a lot in school, barely anything. I know that seems weird considering I'm on here, but I am really shy. I'm sure some people even haven't heard me talk in like years. That's how quiet I am. So basically, the story really touched me and question time came around. And this is from my whole high school, by the way. We all were there for the presentation. And he asked any more, if you want any more questions. So me, being a little shy me, raises my hand like this. He completely misses me and is looking at all different directions, but then calls on me. And I had this whole vision of how it was going to happen, how I was going to say the speech that I wanted to say. And it didn't really come out like that. Instead, I kind of started crying, because first off, the whole presentation was so emotional about his son. Second off, I'm in front of my high school talking. I don't do that. <laughs> I can't even talk in front of a class. So, I'm there, and I and he passed two laws on bullying and suicide, by the way, which I think is amazing. So, I'm there, and I said, it's one thing to be as strong as you are to get through something so heartbreaking, and it's another thing to pass two laws and change people's lives and be an inspiration to them. And for that, I think the whole school right now should stand up and give you a round of applause. And I didn't really know if they were going to do it. But then everyone around me, my whole high school, stood up and gave him a round of applause. And I stood there in shock. Like, I just did that. <laughs> so basically, that was the start of making my senior year something really amazing. And honestly, if I can do that, any of you guys can do that because I don't do this. And then after that, you know, he gave me a hug and then I started emailing him back and forth because I felt like my job, not my job, but I felt like I didn't say what I wanted to say or get through. So basically we were emailing back and forth and I asked him if I could make a picture of his son to paint because I'm an artist and he said okay and he said that'd be very nice. So I painted a picture of their son and luckily I emailed John, the dad, and I said that I would like him to come into school or if I can meet up with him or mail in the picture. He actually came into school and I got to see him again. And we had like a big um, easel and it had a blanket over the picture so I could unveil it like this. And basically he came in and I did that and he looked at the picture and just goes, wow. And he was so impressed and just the look on his face made me incredibly happy. You have no idea. And on the back of it, he said if he inspired one person that what he does goes around the school and talks to people, it's all worth it. But on the back I had tons of people from my school sign the picture saying different things like thank you for coming and everything so he could see not only did he come to my school and inspire one person but he inspired everyone on the back of that picture and more and it was just a really great thing I felt so happy that I did something like this because I don't and this is seriously the highlight of my senior year to make him so happy and to help out and again I'm moving the link of the whole story and everything below, um, down there, and my picture that I did will soon be on the dedication page on his website.
So go check that out. There's other works and stuff there too. And just go check out everything. He's this guy's been on Oprah because of his story. He's been on all these different things. Um but yeah, that's basically what I wanted to tell you guys because you have no idea how proud of myself I am. I honestly didn't think I could do that, but I did and I'm really, really happy. So I just wanted to inform all you guys. And all pictures of me of him and just my picture I did on my Facebook channel, which I should update, so I'll get updated on that. So all those links down here. So check it out. Thanks for listening, guys. I love you.